Hello, this is Dr. Donald Fox, orthodontist in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It is now Tuesday, March 31st, and we've been ordered to stay at home except for central workers or essential workers, and I'm still going in to see emergencies into the office. It's a very stressful time. There's a lot of things, a lot of information going on. And one of the biggest things I'd like to clear up is about your opinion, whether you believe we should all be wearing a mask. If you haven't seen the video I released yesterday, I highly advise you to go to reallystraightwhiteteeth.com and there you'll see more about my credentials of the research I've done in dentistry. And another video is coming out about the dangers of using the acetaminophen or paracetamol, which is also known as Tylenol. Um, that's coming out because Advil has been labeled as something you shouldn't be taking with this, but um, I haven't seen the final research on that yet, but there's some serious issues about taking acetaminophen or Tylenol if you have this particular virus. Um, there you'll also see the rest of my credentials and the other research I've done, including I've released a book on how to stop children from thumb sucking. Uh, it's written towards mothers and the book is uh, easily read in about three or four hours by a mother and they apply it to the child and the child stops thumb sucking within about one hour. Um, now I wanna show you a graph that last week, a webinar with all the orthodontists and dentists were at um, about three to four days ago. And this graph here, and that was in my video that I just released yesterday, um, talks about the virus that this person's infected can cough and go about two to feet, three feet and go to the ground because it's a large particle. A medium-sized particle sneezed as it goes here up to six feet, but here are tiny little particles that float in the air that go as much as 10 feet, and yes, we were told that they stay in the air for two to three hours. Now, with that being said, these you have to think of this like cigarette smoke, or when you go into the bathroom and use some Glade freshener and two hours later, you come back into a room where there's a cigarette smoker or someone that's used that bathroom and you can still smell the smell because it's in the air, it's not gone to the floor yet. So the point is, is these smaller particles go 10 feet in the air and there's people that are working in the workplace still, or they're going over their friend's house, or they're even outside and the wind's not blowing. They're all standing around with a bunch of dogs, which I love dogs, but everybody's like two feet away breathing. And you're breathing their coronavirus that they have, and not many people know they have the coronavirus until about day five or six when they have a sore throat, but there's many, many people that don't get any symptoms and they have it. Also, you go on an elevator and the door closes and now you realize you're breathing the air of someone else that was in that elevator in the past two hours, especially you get on one that somebody just got off. So yes, you're breathing the coronavirus. It's getting into your mouth, on your clothes, in your hair. Um, this has got to be taken more seriously. Even outside, um, I don't even walk downwind from somebody if I'm walking in the, in the afternoon here at Fort Lauderdale Beach because I'm downwind from someone that they are breathing and then it's coming into my space and I breathe their air. Um, this also leads to why you should wear a mask. The first thought you have is, well, I don't want to wear a mask because I don't have an N95 or N99 mask, which has a little valve on the side here or here or right in the front and so that allows you to breathe more. So I'm not gonna wear one. The Surgeon General's told me not to wear one. It's, you know, the surgical masks don't work. Um, yes, they leak a little bit, but we're gonna go into that. I wanna to start today forming a campaign of everyone going viral with this video to start making homemade masks. And I'm gonna show you how, and it's real simple. Other people have done it, but I'm gonna show you it in this video anyway, because the virus can not only come um, out from touching things, but I want it to stop on the inside of everyone's mask, but everybody's got to wear one. We need to shift our viewpoint now. If you don't think you care, then I also know that you don't care about me. That's my point. If you don't care about yourself, that's fine, but I want you to care about me and everyone else around you and the older people, because today, March 31st at 6 o'clock p.m. on the daily report, 
uh, show with the Donald Trump and the task force and Dr. Fauci came out and said, we now have over 3000 deaths in the United States and this is gonna keep climbing. And for the next two months, this is gonna be like Italy, seriously. Um, I'll show it to you right now, is that this is on the internet and it's from NBC. And I actually watch Fauci say that there's going to be a minimum right now of 200,000 deaths in the United States. And we only have 3,000 right now. This is unacceptable. That's crazy. Come on. Let's wake up. Let's, let's do this. Let's start making a mask, wearing a mask. I don't care how you got to do it. But also Trump today, it's on the CNN politics, which you can say they're fake news. The point is it's on the internet. It's right there where they're talking about the issue that Trump believes there might be a scenario where we all have to start wearing masks, but when are we gonna pull the trigger? We need to do that now. Also, we have the problem in that same article is the demand for masks and that the emergencies require at the hospital and nurses. Some nurses I know have told me stories like they get one or two masks a day, a day, and they're dealing with respiratory coronavirus patients. This is crazy. They go and wash, they take their clothes off when they're at the hospital and they're staying at hotels. They can't even go home to see their relatives. Um, I believe the availability of the mask is no longer an excuse. I have a friend of mine in Austria who is, uh, has every woman over in Austria are hand making um, on sewing machines with cloth masks. And you can make one out of a paper towel. I'm gonna show you this, but I want Americans to take this a lot more serious. And I want everybody to wear their mask. Look at my previous video to get the uh, coronavirus out of your mouth the best you can. It also tells you you should wash your hands, wash your face, use baby shampoo. And then you're going to throw this mask away because it's just a paper towel. But it's better than nothing. And I think it's actually pretty good because I have a hard time breathing behind it. In uh, Austria or Puerto Rico recently, people can't leave the house unless they have a piece of paper. And in Austria, they have a very low corona positive testing and very low death rate, and they're right near Italy. So now in Austria, they're tracking you by your GPS of your phone. And in Puerto Rico, they're taking your license plate down. And I'm gonna tell you right now, everything I've been told that comes from Austria, because I, I know people over there, that it comes here in the next 10 to 14 days. So if you don't believe it's coming, I really do believe it's coming. Maybe even in New York, you'll see it first, that you will be GPS tracked. Um, you can't leave your house unless you have this piece of paper printed from the internet and it says who, what clearance you have and where you can go. If you're not doing that, you get a 3,000 euro fine and a jail. 200,000 deaths in the next two months is unacceptable. Also, just yesterday on Fox News, uh, Tucker Carlson stuck his neck out. You can find this. This is the exact article right here. And basically, here's some more of it. It's on, this was on Fox News on the internet. And basically, what he's trying to say is this is, this is, the whole thing is ridiculous, is that you need to make your mask and you need to make it now. And certain people um, are making them out of bandanas. And uh, Tucker Carlson just says it like it is. That they, they, the government thinks we're stupid. And we're not stupid. Everybody knows we're supposed to be wearing a mask and, and we're not. And it's just, we're in denial. This thing is airborne, okay? You go in the elevator, like I said earlier, it's there. So anyway, the other next thing I wanna show you is the U.S. Surgeon General is on the same bandwagon. He was also today live. This is it. You'll find this on Fox News, his, his video of him talking. And he basically says that the mask is ineffective on uh, the, for the public to be wearing the mask. And this is based on his opinion that the people like in Publix and all these people and the food, Whole Foods and Fresh Market, that they um, can't make a mask. I mean, not, they don't have a mask and that they 
don't know how to put one on. Well, you wash your hands, you wash your face, you put it on, and the homemade mask, you just throw it away until they can get us some masks. But the bottom line is um, today, um, as you go in Publix, Whole Foods, Fresh Market, and some of these stores, especially Publix, is making uh, sushi, they're making you subs, and they're breathing right over. You've already seen this graph earlier that they're breathing right on your sub, and none of this stuff is taken home, and it can't be washed, it can't be heated up, so you're not going to kill the virus, it's, and it's going to go everywhere. And I, it, it's just ridiculous. The food handlers have got to wear gloves, got to wear masks, it's just unacceptable. So his uh, suggestion also is um, that they don't have enough masks for the hospitals. Well, you make your own. At least we stop the virus from going beyond your lips right here. No further than my hand because it's going to hit the inside of the mask. And everyone, you know, maybe the way I look at it is that one day we're all going to have to be wearing the N99 sports mask with the valves that fit real tight. But right now, research papers, as Tucker Carlson said, have proved that South, Florida, uh, South Korea, Japan, Hong Kong, and the rest of Asia have, been, have kept under control, all because everyone's wearing a mask. They're used to it in China. So we need to do it. I'm not here to criticize the U.S. Surgeon General, but I tell you right now, this, and he said the CDC is behind this, why the public can't wear the mask. He states in the video, you should go watch it, is that one reason is that we don't have enough. And right now we do. We have homemade ones. Austria, they're making them. We can make them. You can use a bandana, a scarf. I'm going to show you how to make a paper one. The second uh, reason is that there's not enough for the, for the hospitals. Again, we're going to make our own. Uh, maybe the store should put a sign out front that if you don't wear a mask in the store, you're not coming in because the public's here, um, as of yesterday, said that they um, don't... Um, um, keep someone from wearing a mask, but they don't have any to give their employees. Well, the employees should make a paper mask or whatever. The third reason is people don't know how to put it on. Then see my video of how to wash your face, wash your hands, put the, put the mask on, and it keeps you from touching your face. And if you take it off, you throw it away. It's hardly nothing. So we don't have to wait because the ones that you try to find on the internet and they never ship them are so expensive. But the other thing is that what I believe everybody today needs to imitate these other Asian company, countries and start wearing a mask. And then watch my video on how to get it out of your mouth, out of your nose, out of your throat the best you can. And this is not complicated. I think it's time to shift to a higher level of protecting all of us because I basically, I'm tired of the suffering. I'm tired of the sick. I'm tired of going in the office and only seeing emergencies when there's other people out there that have problems that need to be done with their teeth. There's medical problems people are put on hold and main, mainly also the economy right now. The economy is hurting and we need to get this thing over with. And the only way we're going to do it is to avoid 200,000 deaths. Now, let's jump on how to make that mask and we'll be... So now we're going to show you how to make a paper towel. This paper towel, you can see has a line down the middle because it splits into two. It's nice if you have a paper towel that doesn't split, but because my face is big, I have a, a, a width across problem, is I do have another half a sheet, so I'm going to make mine longer. How do you know is you want to like come to the edge of your ear. It needs to come to the edge of your ear based on the rubber band you use. So what I'm going to do on this to make it bigger, I'm just going to staple another piece to make it longer so that it will be long enough. So there you go. You can see I've stapled it and I made it a lot longer. So, so what you want to do is you're going to take this paper towel and you're going to fold it over like this and then you're going to fold it towards yourself by sneaking up like that. And then you're going to bring it up again, but this time don't bring it all the way to the edge. You don't want to bring it up to this edge here because you want to be able to have an accordion flat when it goes on your face. See, I'm just doing this real quick. You can see what I'm doing. And yeah, it takes a little practice. I'll be, I admit this isn't the first one I've done because I've been you know, practicing. So then I get this thing looking pretty much like this. And then you got to handle this, this bottom part here in a second. So basically right there, what you're going to do is take and staple all the ends of this to hold it together. 
You can see it's all staple. But this, this isn't something that's going to be judged by an art show or something. Okay, so now we have pretty much the mask is made. Now we just need to attach the, um, but you want to tuck in this last bottom part here and then put one staple in the middle. So you can see I tucked this last little part, the last part that wasn't folded right. And now we're going to attach the, I'm going to do a preliminary check and see that it reaches over near my ears. And it does. So now I just got to staple the rubber band to the inside of this. Let me move it so you can see. So you just need to put a staple, one on the end. And if you got a bigger stapler, like, you know, there's some really massive staplers out there. So see the rubber band is now on there. And then we're going to do the other end. I'll try to put this so you can see it. But basically, you want to fold this over at least a little bit first before you put the rubber band in it. And then we staple it on one end here. And then one end on the other. Okay. So now I'm ready to put it on my face. Put it around my ear. rubber band came off so like I said it's, it's um the first time you do this you, you gotta put enough staples in it to hold it okay and again the biggest problem you're not gonna have the problem I'm having because the problem is the um I got a big head So let's get this handled here real quick. And then over here. Now some women have some big um, hair bands. So you can see that's pretty good. Okay. So let's get these made. That's all for this and stay healthy.